Producers often find projects they want to produce based on a script or other material owned by another party. So for producers who want to produce a project based on material owned by another, it is important for them to understand the difference between shopping agreements and option purchase agreements. Hi, James Pacitti, entertainment attorney and production counsel in Los Angeles. If producers are seeking to produce a project that is based on a script or other material owned by another party, unless the producers plan on financing the project themselves, they will need to secure the right to go out and seek financing, attachments, etc. To secure this right, the producers will need to either enter into a shopping agreement or an option purchase agreement with the owner of the script or the material. There are similarities between shopping agreements and option agreements, but also important distinctions. One of the main similarities is that both agreements typically give the producers exclusive rights to represent the project, to seek the ability to have the project financed. The option purchase agreement gives the producers the exclusive right to purchase the script for a period of time known as the option period. The writer cannot sell the script to any other party during the option period. And if the producer pays the agreed purchase price, then the script is sold to the producer along with all the rights covered by the agreement. During the option period, producers can package the script with other elements such as talent attachments to obtain financing before exercising the option. The producer pays an option fee which is to secure the exclusive right to purchase the script for an agreed upon price. Unless the writer is in the WGA, the amount of the option fee is completely subject to negotiation. If the writer is in the WGA, then the option fee must be at least 10% of the purchase price. Option periods are usually from as little as 12 months to as much as 18 months, uh, with some agreements providing for multiple extensions of the initial option period for additional option fees. For the writer, an option agreement can be appealing because they are getting a fee for their script essentially being frozen while the producer has the exclusive right to go out and seek financing prior to purchasing it for a agreed upon amount. Many producers though will, produ will prefer a shopping agreement because it still allows them to present the material but they don't have to make a financial commitment to the writer. For a writer, this of course can be an issue because the shopping agreement gives the producer, typically gives the producer the exclusive right to shop the project, but the writer is not getting any money and the writer cannot do anything with the script during the term of the shopping agreements. Since the producer pays no money, shopping agreements tend to have shorter terms than option purchase agreements, typically less than a year with provisions that will automatically extend the agreement if the project is set up with a studio network or a third party buyer. A shopping agreement typically pr provides that the producer can bring the material to potential buyers such as studios, networks, etc. And if there is interest, the writer and producer will negotiate their own deal with this third party buyer. This arrangement has both benefits and pitfalls for each party. The most obvious and common pitfall is regarding the parties negotiating their own deals. Those shop agreements typically contain language that the parties agree they will negotiate their own deals in good faith and consistent with industry standards, customs and practices. These parameters are very broad and vague. 
and one party may feel they are negotiating in good faith and consistent with industry standards, but the other party feels they are not. And if either party is unreasonable in their demands when negotiating their deal with the third party buyer, the other party cannot proceed without them. So if the writer, for example, were engaging in this behavior, then the producer has wasted time and effort on a deal that probably was never going to happen. With an option purchase agreement, the producer has much more control over the project. The producer has the exclusive right to exercise the option at any time during the option period by notifying the writer and paying the purchase price. The terms for the sale of the script have already been agreed, uh, agreed upon, so the writer has very little leverage and cannot prevent the project from moving forward as long as the producer abides by the terms of the option purchase agreement. Shop agreements are also sometimes referred to as producer attachment agreements. The producer is helping the project to be presented, uh, assisting with trying to get it financed, and may also be seeking to attach other elements such as a name actor or a director that will make the project more appealing to studios or networks or other buyers. Whether an option purchase agreement or shopping agreement is the best option for producers depends on several factors. So producers must be aware of the pros and cons of shopping agreements and option purchase agreements in determining what is best for them. If you have any questions or a project you wish to discuss, don't hesitate to contact us.